Hello everyone, welcome to Crystal Eclipse. My name is Jessica. In this video, we'll be asking the cards about your life partner, your future spouse, whichever um, relates to you or whichever it is that you're hoping for in the future. And basically the good and the bad, seeing like their personality traits, what kind of person they are. I have done this video in the past, but it's like getting a little old and I just want one that's a little more up to date and in a little better quality. So I have four stacks for you all to choose from. We have Labradorite, we have Clear Quartz, Obsidian, and lastly here we have Rose Quartz. Um, this is also called Pink Quartz. So choose whichever stack or stacks call out to you. Remember to take whatever it is that you feel is meant for you in the reading and just leave what you feel does not apply to you. Uh, you can check the description box or the comment section for timestamps if you like to skip directly to the stack or stacks because you can choose multiple stacks um, that called out to you. So let's go ahead and get started. We're starting off here with Labradorite. I'm going to put that stem right there. And so I have these two cards as the cards that are sort of like the actual bad parts of them, which probably isn't much to, to think about. But we have, when it comes to this future spouse or this life partner, um, we have Citrus. And this is a card I really like because I, I think how bright it is, how peaceful it is. Um, and how oranges like naturally make you happy just smelling an orange the, the scent of the fragrance just makes you very happy it's something that's a, a natural like um, booster to your overall mood it just makes you feel just peaceful and like gives you almost a refresher of optimism we have the four of wands the two of acorns with insight and focus Lastly, we have the ruler of coins. This would be the king of pentacles. And for our bad, we have the devil coming out in reverse, and we have the king of cups. So when it comes to these cards, like the, I guess the good part about them is they have a really bright personality. They're somebody who is um, not necessarily just like super easygoing, but I feel like they're a very calm presence. They're somebody who tries their hardest to go with the flow. They don't want things to really upset them. Although it's not like they ignore anything. I feel like majorly they're, they're really just sort of embracing things that comes to them, whether it's good or bad, they're very calm. They just sort of take what it is. They evaluate it. You know, they think a lot about what's going on and then they go ahead and uh, move forward with it. I think they're a calm person, but I feel like it's almost like this is time that has given them this mindset. So it wasn't something that happened overnight. Like you look at an orange tree and it takes like over six years for it to grow to a stage where it can actually start producing fruit. So it's like, it's not overnight, right? It's taking a long time for this person to enter this like orange phase where they're just a brighter person. Somebody who is able to just embrace life and not feel like too negative about things, not dwell on situations. They aren't quick to react and another thing like they have that great optimism we have the four of wands which is one of my favorite like celebration cards so it's somebody who's all about living in the moment somebody who want, cherishes everybody around them they they really value the people that are in their life which of course would be you um their family their friends i feel like this is one of those uh, people that's like i don't have friends i have extended family like they their friends become their family and this is something that is so like unique to them like in in a deeper way than i think a lot of people have it it's just like they are are so dedicated to the people around them and they want those people to feel uh, like they're cared about like they're celebrated so it's almost like every day is a celebration with them your birthday is something that is huge no matter what whether or not it's like like celebrating, like getting a cake and, and having a party or just sitting there with you and, and making a very special, like sort of one-on-one -on -one occasion. It's this like really lovely sort of like, let's just live in this moment and make things really special. You know, there's always a reason to celebrate, always a reason to be happy. With the two of acorns, we see continued uh, like fire energy here because we're going from that four of wands into the two of acorns which would be the two of wands the two of wands is a card that's like setting out somebody who's planning things ties directly back into citrus or at least my interpretation of citrus and the four of wands this person's like very 
planned out. Like they, they evaluate things. They're sort of slow when it comes to a response, sort of slow when it comes to making decisions. But once they have their mind made up, they're like fully invested. They're ready to go, ready to move forward, ready to just like invest their all in every situation. I think too, this card in particular sort of reads to me as somebody who like chases after their dreams. There's somebody who's probably like either um, very high in position, like when it comes to career, or they have major goals to get themselves further in life to where they can be like in a very high position. If not, it gives me almost like entrepreneur, um, somebody who might have their own business uh, within that card. It's just somebody who has a re really great mindset. They're not quick to act because they want to make sure that it's all planned out. And then once it is planned out, it's like they don't stop until it's exactly where it needs to be. So they're just like fully dedicated to everything. And that's when it comes to this relationship too. There's such a dedicated energy that's really coming across all these cards. And one of my favorite cards, like I tell people this all the time, like if you're pulling a card for a future spouse or a life partner, the ruler of coins and the ruler of cups, which would be the king of coins, the king of cups, are the two best energies to bring out in a in a reading they are either like the like perfect loving spouse or they're the one that's like ride or die dedicated for life they're not going anywhere and that's the way i see the king of coins which is here within this card it's like that one person who is there with you they take on you know the highs the lows they don't care about the arguments the frustrations the any like or a form of lack of communication they completely disregard it they're just like you know this is where we are and we're moving forward and like we're going to hit those bumps here and there but we're just going to keep on like facing our goals there's no like quitting here there's somebody who's like so incredibly dedicated to a relationship to me like i'll probably take a king of coins over king cups like any day because he's just like they're dedicated for life so really gorgeous energy when it comes to this person like the good they're such a bright dedicated person they're with you they are there to support you this is somebody who's also very stable in both like the relationship their mentality and their money the, the, um, the ruler of coins coming out has this continued like i like own my own business or i'm like in charge of something i'm a higher up energy somebody who's really good with money somebody who has like a, a pretty good foundation around them when it comes to the bad now since i only pulled out two to see sort of like what they would say i don't normally do reversals so that's why i pulled these ones out as like to see what what if anything bad would come out but it's sort of interesting because the king of cups in reverse i sort of see it as like a similar version to the king of coins or the king of pentacles somebody who's not very emotional or somebody who might not um, use their emotions when they need to. So sometimes we see this as somebody who's over emotional, but because it's countered by that coins card, I'm seeing it as somebody who might feel like a little cold sometimes. So if you're trying to talk about something, they might not really relate to what you're saying, or you might feel like they're not listening or not taking in what you're saying in a, in a very serious way but that's just their personality and i'm saying that not to be like um dismissive of that card but it's more that the coins are coming out and that to me is somebody who takes in information and really truly cares right but they're just really not good when it comes to communication so that's why i'm reading that king of cups that way it's like they're not really good when it comes to speaking uh and like making you feel as though they, they are sincerely listening, but they are. It's just sort of like the bad thing about them. With the devil in reverse, it's interesting because it's, it seems like it's not really reading as a normal like devil in reverse. To me, it's reading more as um, this person might have had previous relationships that were unsuccessful. And they're sort of holding over some of that energy from those previous relationships and that might be why they have this um sort of energy about them or they're they seem a little cold or they're so heavily fixated on work i don't see it as like any major issue it just seems to me more like um probably in the first portion a couple months or so of your relationship it seems like that's the 
issue. It might be like the first four months where that seems to be the issues, like holding on to what wasn't successful, holding on to the past that created some, some pretty um, annoying or frustrating instances, you know, where, where they they might feel like, like it'll repeat, you know? So that's the only issues I would see with this person. Otherwise, um, they seem really great, stable, supportive, a very bright personality. It might just be there. They have some communication issues here and there. Um, and they might just hold on a little bit to the relationship, but that's sort of, or the relationships of the past, but that's, um, sort of like the honest side of this, but that's what I'm seeing here with this first stack and a Labradorite. I do hope that that was able to answer your questions or provide you with a little insight on, as to who is coming or who, um, sort of is being confirmed in your life if there is anybody right now. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day with Denier. Bye-bye. Starting with our second stack here, we have this clear quartz. So when it comes to this future spouse or this life partner, we do have two cards here that will be for the bad, um, but we're going to focus on the good for right now. We're going to pull the good cards. So we have clover, which is like lucky, lucky um, with that energy. So we have six of wands, which is good energy. It's one of my favorite cards. Or acorns, that would be the four of wands, and that is probably my like, third favorite card. And we have the Sovereign of Swords. So that would be the Queen of Swords. We'll go ahead and pull out our um, um, so quote unquote bad cards. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse, and we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So normally I don't do any reversals, but we're doing that for this reading just to see if there's anything bad that is like noteworthy. When it comes to this future spouse or this life partner, whichever it is you're looking for in your life, um, what we're seeing first is clover. And I love clover here because all I see is like good luck and abundance. Um, things that like one are once in a lifetime, you know, things that seem incredibly rare. And that sort of gives me that energy of this person. It's like you've waited so long for for this person to come through. You've waited forever to, to meet this person, to see this person. And um, finally, this person that, that arrives in your life is the person that that almost doesn't seem real. It's like, how can this this person like match you so well? How can this person come in? You might have given up on love. You might have felt like this person's never gonna come in. And then finally, here they are, and you feel like like this is just pure luck. Like having the arrival of this person is like amazing energy within that card. We also see six of wands, and six of wands makes me think of like that celebration, the arrival of somebody that you've been hoping for. Or the return of somebody after like years of separation or trials, you know, like if somebody's had to had to go away and um, sort of like learn about themselves, discover who they are, so that when they return, they can be this person that that they need to be. So this could be somebody that's returning from the past. I'm not sure. I'm not getting a lot of return energy besides the six of cups, but. Um, it could possibly be somebody from the past, but I feel like this person has done heavy reflection on themselves. They're really um, proud of, of where they start and sort of like where, where they are when you meet if you haven't met yet. They seem like they just have that energy. Of like, And they're, they're not just like, here I am. I'm happy now. I don't have to do any more work. They're still working on themselves. They're still you know, uh, trying to improve, trying to focus on what it is that maybe isn't right about them. The things that that they know would would like mess things up or cause um, frustrations. I think that's um, what they're still working on. We do see that here in the sort of like bad, right? The bad energy of like what they're still working on. But I felt for the most part, like they're focusing on things that will get them into a successful relationship and through life. So it might not be entirely that it's just relationship issues that they have to focus on. It might be that they felt very unlucky in life. They had a lot of hardships and they're fixated on the past or the things that didn't come through, the things that they felt like they missed out on. And that's something that sort of like held them back. Now they're moving forward and they're in the six of wands, embracing what is coming to them and being open to like changes or opportunities, no matter what it is. They're, they're just trying to be um, open to the future. Four of acorns with that four of wands energy it's that celebration card. It's that energy of like a divine union, like finding your 
the perfect counterpart the like you know the, the higher powers around you have meant for you to find you see comfort and community being with the people that you care about being surrounded by people that um you know you you really treasure those two cards together six of wands the four of acorns i feel like they're combining to show who this person is when it comes to you so the arrival of them like in your life or your arrival in their life whichever way i guess it sort of goes both ways um there that arrival means so much to them because it seemed like it was so far off and that might actually be their energy within the clovers of thinking that like they're done they're never going to find the right person or they messed up you know too many they've lost too many opportunities that perfect person isn't coming through and then they finally see it with you so i feel like here within these two cards it's just their relationship with you the way they view you the way that they think about you how much they care for you deeply like it's all about being at home when it comes to you it's just a loving energy within that four of acorns card within that six of wands like just being where you're meant to be so very very beautiful energy it's like i said that about the first act it's like super beautiful energy when it comes to this person because i'm feeling a lot of maturity here um uh, mainly the six of wands and the four of wands give me like a return like i said a return energy which means um it's not new and it might be a new love but i feel like this person's been through so much that they've actually matured they're wiser they've um, undergone a transformation and that's why we're seeing a return to a happy place but with the knowledge of what they've learned like all along the way when they were sort of like suffering but things weren't going their way we have the sovereign of swords which would be the queen of swords and in this card in particular when it comes to this depiction of the, of the queen of swords i love that it's included the swords but or the main sword i should say but we have like wings on it we have a butterfly we have flowers it's very beautiful and i think it really captures that uh queen of swords energy well with the the king of swords right sometimes it has that really intense energy of somebody who will like um make sure their voice is heard make sure that what they have to say is like um the front you know the thing that that is final say the like biggest most important person is them with well, the sovereign of swords queen of swords I feel like she has more of a calmness to her. She wants her voice heard and she will make sure that you hear her, but she does it in a way where you don't feel like almost like terrified or frustrated or like you're you're just not successfully communicating. I feel like she is the one that is just purely successful communication and that is this person. They work very hard to communicate to you how they're feeling, what's going on. And I think that's because of what they've been through, trying to get to a better place where they they just have that better em, like emotional, mental like point of view. You know, they're not as quick to jump on their emotions. They're not um, ones to jump to a conclusion. They're very, they're very like almost meticulous when it comes to sort of evaluating things because I feel like they like heavily they don't want to um, return to the past so somebody who really works hard in relationships and then this one in particular to make sure that it's successful because i feel like with these two cards they know that this is longevity they know this is a life partner situation now when it comes to the bad we see my favorite card in reverse and we see the eight of wands eight of wands i read it the same way up or down i focus more on the things that are um uh sort of like negative so maybe like too much at once which um that would read to me as somebody who maybe takes on too many tasks at, at the same time or they've got too many things going they're always going and you sometimes you want them to just stop or you want them to focus on one thing and they keep headed forward and they're less like let me add more to my you know my already full table that's the kind of person i see them as they're 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 constant they're like trying and it I think that ties into this like trying to to improve trying to, to to do more trying to be as accomplished as they can they keep adding to that table and it's it's sometimes like it's too much and i would say that that's sort of like a bad trait about them but not like a horrible trait it just seems like something that they do but yeah at the same time i feel like it balances itself out um probably because you're in their life like when this is happening but it's just them trying to get ahead and they just take on too much when it comes to the six of cups 
the issue is is it's either somebody from your past who maybe you you struggle with for a little while and might feel like you can't trust them um or you feel like they haven't really changed um but i'm, I'm not sure if i'm feeling this to be a return energy so i'm going to sort of like gravitate away from that um i see this more as somebody who might have a hard time opening up to you they feel a strong like attraction connection to you and they do feel very lucky but i feel like they are almost too fearful of pursuing you they're too fearful of like diving in deep because they're worried that it won't work out and that seems to be their own sort of like self-confidence issue that i'm reading when it comes to that card and that seems to be something that lasts a little while and it might frustrate you quite a bit because um i've seen that as six i'm seeing that as six so it might last about like six months like half a year with that energy because it seems like very strong energy within that card for it to come out reverse like that but that would be the bad and i think that might be the the thing that persists possibly throughout like a few years of the relationship where they're still sort of worried that things might not work out but basically that's what i'm seeing here with this set bad is not super bad so that's really great i think they, they seem like quite a lovely person they're very excited to have like the one and i think they're they see it but they're just a little fearful so that is the second stack here with clear quartz and i hope that that was able to resonate with you and i thank you for watching please have a wonderful day week and year bye bye starting with our third stack here we have obsidian so we have two cards for the sort of like bad and then we have these four cards four cards yeah four cards for the good so when it comes to you and this future spouse or life partner we're going to get out the four cards for the, like the good side we have dandelion coming out a great card let me focus that we have the two of wands oh we have the king of shells the king of cups coming out here so really fantastic energy you see a loving spouse um somebody who's very dedicated oh we have the sun too so we have a lot of positivity here with these cards great radiance when it comes to the bad we have the hierophant we have the world okay so we're seeing fixed energy here and i think that's going to be the bad <laughs> but um, bad isn't like horrible. It's just like what might frustrate you. So we have dandelion coming out first. And dandelion, um, you know, we see it as sort of like a weed most times, like something that you just sort of like whip out, throw away. But it's actually um, edible. So you can eat it. You know, you can consume it. It's something that will provide you with nutrients. And it's just like normally it's just disregarded. Like nobody pays attention to it. Uh, so I think that's sort of like who this person is. They're not somebody who's showy, not somebody who really makes a scene. They're somebody who's pretty calm. They're easygoing. They don't seem like they're they're one to be like the center of attention or even go out to parties. And that might tie into that um, hierophant at the end. But we see it as somebody who is just very um, go with the flow. And that's the dandelion, right? When it's time to to um, let its seeds go, rather than just like dropping them nearby. Or waiting for a bird or animal to come along and eat it and like spread its its seeds elsewhere it just lets the wind take it it's just like i'm ready to go i'll go where, wherever i need to as far as this wind will take me and then i'll settle down and regroup later it's like they just aren't held back it's such a positive card and that is who this person is they're they might not be like you know quick to action but this person has such a great like mentality they're just very easy going now they do seem like they might be the type that's up for sort of like a road trip or something but you might not see them in a place that's very crowded two of wands um as well for some reason like there's a little volkswagen on here and i'm thinking about that as like road trip too but it's the person's alone so they're secluded and they have that glow with them as wanting to travel so it seems like somebody who likes to sort of like stick to themselves they like to be alone but I always see that two of wands as somebody who's sitting there waiting for somebody to come in that will take that other wand with them. You know, somebody who will stand beside them, somebody who will travel the world with them. So go on those road trips. So although they don't really like having a lot of people around them, they do seem to want somebody like their perfect counterpart. We see that strongly, like super strong with that king of shells, with harmony and integrity. Um, the king of cups is that loving spouse the one that puts their entire like heart into a relationship there's like 
no holding back. They are so dedicated, so, um, you know, true to the person that they're with. They want to do everything with them. So a lot of their hopes and dreams, their goals in life concern the person that um, they're in a relationship with. So it's like they don't want to really do much when they don't have that person by their side. So showing me that like within those three cards, it seems like this person has either been waiting for the right person to do these things with, or they're wanting to sort of like stick to themselves, stay home if they don't have somebody to do those things with. And they they really care about like making memories. Um, memory seems very, very important to this person. Like it's something that, that they, they are like, it's something that's almost like very them. I feel like this is the type of person that would take a lot of pictures as a type of person that would like um, probably have like a journal to remember things. Maybe like one of those scrapbook journals and put the pictures and stuff in. Um, male or female, I feel like this person just loves creating memories. They're the ones that take all the pictures and the videos and the groups. They just want to look back at those moments and say, like, look what we did, look at what we had. Um, I'm so happy that we were we were able to do that. And I'm so happy I was able to do that with you. And that's like this, this really strong um, energy that's coming off of these cards. We have the sun, which is, of course, the brightest card in the, the entire tarot deck. The card that stands out and says, this is like, everything this is the the future this is its brightness this is the glory this is everything you could hope for and it's just like almost like it's been so long in the works that it's huge it's so important with this person um starting off a dandelion we see the sun in the background right the dandelion it's so bright and it's like really a prominent um aspect of that card then we see the two of wands and the king of shells which sort of has aspects of a sun, but you don't actually see it. You don't really see the sun. But I felt like for a while there, there was a lot of like either sadness or regret in their life. There's a lot of things that that I feel like they just they didn't feel like life was moving. They didn't feel like things were going anywhere. They were just sort of stuck in that position, hoping that things could move forward or would move forward. But it didn't seem to actually like get to where they were hoping for, at least like in my opinion. It seemed like that that things sort of stopped for quite a while there. Like maybe five or so years, it seems like that's sort of what happened. It just came to a halt for them and they're like, well, how do I move forward? How do I get back on track? How do I um, do what I was meant to do if, if you know, I'm stuck here? And now they're finally at this place, especially when they meet you or when this relationship is developing. This seems to be what it's showing. It's like they meet you and they can finally return to that brightness that was that they worked so hard to get to in the beginning, right? So they are finally able to return back to that brightness because you're in their life. So a lot of this happiness, this positivity is sort of like reading to me as a restart or a second chance at life. Like they've been just waiting for the right opportunity to head out, to head toward you. Um, if you haven't met them yet, you might already know them. And I feel like if you do already know them, the key to like, if this is the person I'm talking about, is that life stopped for a while for them like relationships good luck stopped for a while but now it's like gaining momentum again so that's it for the good we're going to focus on the bad the bad actually isn't bad bad it's just got this energy of like maybe you might get a little frustrated we're seeing heavy taurus energy here um heavy taurus in the sense of like um, the hierophant being taurus and the world having Taurus on it. And we see Taurus as both an earth sign and a fixed sign. Being a Taurus myself, I always view it as that energy of like being double stubborn, you know, like more stubborn than you really need to be, being okay with being stubborn. So somebody who might not want to do a lot of things, somebody who might rather stay home, if like, if you find out that there's going to be like more than four people somewhere, this person might be like, I don't want to go. You know, I'd rather... I'd rather stay home or I'd rather not do that because I don't want to interact with that many people. Um, this might be somebody who's a little on the like unlikely to change um, side of things where you feel like even though like it doesn't even seem like it would be something bad. It might be something like um, you're ordering dinner and you find out that they don't the restaurant or whatever doesn't have what you were hoping for. And um you're like, well, do you want something else? And they're like, well, I don't want anything if I can't, you know, have that one. 
So I, I'm just feeling like that's the energy that's coming through when it comes to those two cards. There's a little bit of that stubborn sort of like more, um, this is what I want and I'm sticking to it energy. I'm not really reading it as the cards um, would say because the world would say that it's somebody who, um, you know, gives a lot of um, second chances and the higher fit would say it's a very peace loving person. But for some reason, I'm seeing that as like the sort of negative, somebody who just isn't very um, flexible, basically. That's what I'm saying. It's it's just less likely to give in, more likely to stand their ground. And sort of um, interesting too, because we see um, the King of Shadows here, which would be a water um, card. And we see Earth with the Hierophant. We have fire. We have a lot of fire, right, um, coming through. But we don't really have any air energy besides the world within this card. But we do have dandelion, which would like lift up and fly away. So it's almost like this person is trying to not be that like um, sort of fixed, stubborn energy. They're trying to be a little more flexible, but it's just something that they're really, really struggling with. But that's what I'm seeing as the bad, and that's what I'm seeing as the good. I think um, overall, it's it's a good person. It seems like a, a really great um, person, actually. So I hope that that was able to answer your questions or give you some insight into who this person is. Um, I want to thank you for watching this video and please have a wonderful day and week and year. Bye-bye. Starting with our final stack here with that rose quartz, pink quartz, whichever you prefer to call it. We have our two cards that will be saved for the sort of bad part. And then we'll focus on the first four cards being the good when it comes to this future spouse or this life partner. We have Cherry coming out in the first position. Cherry's a good card because it shows abundance. It um, shows fullness, being um, really, really happy and content in the relationship. We have the Knight of Cups. So that's like the perfect prince energy. Regardless, male or female, it's the perfect counterpart. We have the Six of Acorns, which would be the Six of Wands. One of my favorite cards. We have the Three of Coins. So all really good. It seems like a good... Um, they're good at communication. They're good at loving. So what would be the bad would be the Four of Swords in reverse. And we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so we'll get to that in a second. I'll go ahead and focus on um, these first four cards. So coming in with Cherry, like I said, it's abundance. It's overflow. It's like this person wants to make sure that you have all that you need. They um, Put a lot of energy into you into the relationship into life like whether it's a spouse you know a life partner whatever it is this is somebody who puts in like a whole lot of energy to make sure that you're just surrounded by comfort here so big comfort big like just stability um it's almost like this person wants to make sure your plate is never empty both like as in a literal plate but also like metaphorical you know they don't want to make they don't want you to feel like like you're missing something when it comes to the actual like meaning of the card, it is like saying that um, the, like the bird eats until it's full. So it's it's um, over stuff. And, and I take that as like, you have more than enough. You have more than enough in this relationship when it comes to love, when it comes to the dedication, when it comes to the hard work. I see that's who this person is. I also see it like tying into that Knight of Cups. Like those two cards to me really seem like this person is just a very loving person. This is like the most loving stack that has come out, even though the King of, of Cups came out in another one. I'm just seeing it as like, this is such a really, really, um, like, like they want you to, to know. They want to show you how much they care about you. They want you to, to really feel that, um, that emotion that they have they're they're just so dedicated to you i feel like they're almost the type of person that will like either message you or love lovely like messages you know like love messages or they'd um like leave you little messages around the house or something like they they just seem like the type of person that would do little loving things but they might also do huge loving things like they might buy you stuff they might surprise you with like roses and and just really like um, you know, things that, that you were hoping for, you know, like things like maybe you saw something at the store and you didn't get it. And then like a couple days later, they give you a gift and it's what you saw at the store. I think that's the type of person that's coming through here. They also seem to, 
to be really considerate of everything. Like they, they really take what you say to heart. They listen, um, they retain that information. There's somebody you can really rely on to, to hear you, um, to listen to like, your troubles, any issues that are going on in your life. This is that person. They are just um, very, very caring. And those two cards together just show me somebody who is all about being that, that great support in your life. Six of acorns. Now, normally this shows me a return. So I would read it as a return energy of somebody coming in from your past, but I'm not feeling that return energy here with this card in particular, the way it's come out. Doesn't mean that this is not somebody that's returning. It just means that that's not the energy I'm feeling at the moment. When I do see this card, I feel like this is somebody who has like done a lot in their life to make sure that, that like, they're building things up properly. Like I think they have a lot of goals and they're somebody who really takes their time to think about things to make sure that, that it's sort of like unfolding in really good timing to make sure that they get to like exactly where it, it is that they they want to be, you know, like where they need to be. I think um, sometimes with, with this card, it might be like coming back after accomplishing things. But I feel like here it's like, them still moving forward. They still have more things they want to do. They're still going to give everything like 100% of their energy, 100% of their time. It seems like there's like never an ending. This person doesn't ever get to a point where they're like, oh yeah, I'm good here. They're like, no, there's there's always more to learn. There's always room for improvement. They're not going to just sit there and stop. So I think here you see a lot with this person, a lot of positivity here. Um, a lot of like hope for the future. I think too, when it comes to you, right? Like your part in this, it's like that they, they have the same sort of mentality about everything else that they do about the relationship. Like they know it's not just like, oh, I'll see you a couple of days a week and you know, it'll be fine. It's like, they really want to make sure that they're giving you the right amount of time, the right amount of um, energy, you know, the right amount of love. They're all about communication. We do see that with the three of coins, sort of balancing things out. And I think like with this three of coins, this depiction, I always see it as like the balance between all aspects of life. We see um, it's an earth card, right? So it's pentacles, it's coins, it would be earth. But if you look at it, you see that it has water, air and fire. So it's sort of combining all those different aspects of the cards into one to create this really balanced card, which is that like basis of communication, balance, ability to understand each other and and make sure that, that you're speaking in a way that's very clear or you're getting your point across in a way that that doesn't lead to overexcitement, anger, um, hostility, frustration. It's all about communicating well, working hard, investing to make sure that everything comes together in like perfect harmony. And I love that it has that beautiful um, balance going on within that card. Another thing is I love that like the rose is popping out because it's sort of tying back into that Knight of Cups with the rose. And it's it's this sort of like um, depiction of romance, you know, so those two cards have that beautiful romance, but like dedication, hard work, balancing all aspects of their life to make sure that everything is going well. So we'll focus on like the bad, which isn't like really bad. It's just sort of, you know, what might frustrate you. So. We have the four of swords, we have the ace of wands. I feel like this is really like, um, in a way, it doesn't seem like it's all the time. It just seems like certain situations. And I feel like that's why it's sort of bothersome or the reason I'm reading it as um, frustration or annoyance. When the four of swords comes out and it's upright, I see it as somebody who's like just calm, somebody who is um, just, you know, waiting to see what happens. and. It, it is pretty good. You know, it's like making sure you have a moment to just stop and evaluate the situation, you know, but sometimes, especially when it's in reverse, it's like, but you got to speed it up. You know, we don't have all day. We can't sit here forever and have you evaluate everything. We see that three of coins, that's sort of like slowness, um, knight of coins uh, or knight of cups, sorry, interestingly, is a very slow moving knight. He's commonly um, illustrated as just sort of like almost standing there. He's almost at a stop while the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords are very fast energy. King, Knight of Pentacles doesn't even move, but then you have the Knight of Cups, which is sort of like leaning toward that lack of movement, like the, the Knight of Pentacles. So it's almost saying like, 
sometimes it takes a lot of effort for them to like move out of their comfort zone, even though they want to, and they want to keep moving forward. Like I said, like they're all about like, like achieving more, but at the same time, it's like um, how to go about achieving more or which thing to focus on next. That seems to be that pause. And Ace of Wands coming out here next to that, it's sort of like, I feel like the puzzle, like annoying thing or like the, the part that would frustrate you the most would be that he doesn't, or, um, like this guy, right, in this card, he wouldn't act fast enough, right? He's being given this wand, but he's not responding to it. So this gives me that energy that this person, this like future spouse, this life partner, would have a lot of opportunities come their way, but it's like they're, they're just very slow to respond. They're very slow to act on it. They're very slow to, to take up that opportunity. And I feel like sometimes it might get away from them or you might feel like you have to step in and be like, yes, we'll take that opportunity or we'll do that, you know, because it's going to take too long for that person to respond. And that's just mainly because it seems like that's their, their overall way of thinking. They're a little bit on the hesitating um, sort of um, slower side of thinking. They really want to evaluate things, but that's it. It doesn't seem like bad. It just seems like a little frustrating, but that's what I'm seeing here. It seems like somebody who's very, very loving though, like super loving. I hope that that was able to provide you with some answers as to who is coming in the future or who you might be in a relationship with and like confirmation. Um, I want to thank you for watching and I really hope you have a beautiful day, week, and year. Bye-bye.